Tonight, a Katy police officer is out of a job and a family is in mourning. Police say that officer got drunk, then gave his truck keys to a drunk friend with a suspended license. That friend is accused of running over a mother and son who'd been stranded along I-10. Reporter Larry Seward is live in Katy with details tonight. Larry. Lisa, by all accounts here at Katy Police, rookie officer Cody Parchman had a good record and seemingly a bright future until yesterday. Today, he lost his job, his badge, and told his boss there would be no appeal of his termination. If it's a sign of remorse, the victim's relatives wish it came sooner. <laughs> In photos, Katherine Addison posed for people to smile. So did her 13 year old son, Kendall, the youngest of four. In life, siblings say the two live to help others, which is why their passing hurts so much. I'm trying to make it, but it's just kind of hard, especially when I just talk to him. Yesterday morning, Christopher Addison was on the phone with his brother getting directions to a place on I 10 where he and his mom had a flat tire. Moments before he got there to help, a pickup smashed into her car, killing her instantly. Kendall died inside the burning car. Christopher saw the flames. Emergency personnel everywhere, and there's nothing I can do. Just watch. 23 year old Taylor McShann was driving that truck with a suspended license. He's charged with intoxication manslaughter. The truck belonged to a friend, a Katy police officer named Cody Parchman. McShann and Parchman were coming home from a night of drinking. The thing that we want to express right now is our grief. Today, Katy's police chief fired Parchman for his role. He knows what he did hurt us as a department. It, it sheds bad light on us and he, he doesn't want to carry this on or continue it. It would have meant more if he had been remorseful at the scene of the accident when I was out there. Addison says the firing does little to ease his family's suffering. Losing two people precious to so many is something they'll never get over. I got two holes in my heart that can never be repaired. My brother and my mom's gone and it's tough. And tonight, the Addison's family is still working on finalizing funeral arrangements. Now, the Department of Public Safety is investigating this crash, and it is still possible for Parchman to face charges, though the police chief here in Katy told me this morning, from what he's heard, that is not coming. We are live tonight in Katy. Larry Seward, KHOU, 11 News.